We have Basavaraj Bomai, former Karnataka Chief Minister, with us on the broadcast. Mr. Bomai, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I want to understand what is your initial reaction to the budget? This budget is a consultation and uh, complementing the growth uh, story of uh, Vikshit Bharat uh, under the leadership of Narendra Modi ji. A strong foundation has been laid uh, economically and socially in the last 10 years and uh, through consolidating and continuing the whole process, uh, the Vikshit Bharat dreams has to come through and budget plays a very important role in that. All right, Mr. Bhumai, this is also the Modi government's uh, first budget in the third term. How do you feel that this will shape India for the next five years? Honorable Prime Minister said we are thinking about 2030 beyond uh, the next five years. So th this, is, uh, uh, this will be a growth engine for a long term, not a short term. So if anybody is expecting a short term incentives, stimulus, uh, which uh, the economy uh, will not really survive for the long time. So therefore, a long-term structural uh, and content change uh, in the economy has been done through the last three, four years and that thing has continued now. At the same time, Mr. Bhumai, do you think that abolishing angel tax and the, some of the pro-startup initiatives that have been taken in this budget, will they prove to be beneficial for a city like Bengaluru, which continues to, of course, be the IT hub of India? Yeah, certainly Bengaluru is a leader in startups. And all the angel investments which have been coming here, either though they were taxed, now exemption of tax will bring in a lot of uh, investment into this uh, startups and ITBT. Therefore, uh, it's going to help and it's going to bring in a huge growth in that sector. And hence the employment also. A high uh, salaried uh, jobs will be created. Okay, Mr. Bhumai, before we let you go, you were talking about uh, high salary jobs. We also want to understand from you, sir, the state government of Karnataka was caught uh, in quite a controversy when they offered a quota for locals. How do you view this entire fiasco? The, this government, the Karnataka government, uh, uh, doesn't really uh, doesn't really take a decision uh, uh, which is really good for the industry. More than that, uh, they don't think and uh, they go one foot forward and two foot backward. That's going to hit, hit the reputation of Karnataka basically. All the investors, those who are coming and those who are already there, uh, they have to talk to them. Without talking to them, that's why the repercussions are there, that's why they have drawn it.